नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑफ बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक द गैरिदम्स माई सेल्फ मिसेस दीपाली जोरी लेक्चर इन मैथमेटिक्स एट के के वैक पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो फॉर दिस चैप्टर द गैरिदम्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल understand different laws of logarithms for solving various engineering problems before going further let me ask you one question and you try to give its answer what are the different rules or laws of indices the rules or laws of indices are already there up to 10th standard so i'll take a pause of few seconds here you try to recall them try to write them on your paper okay now let's see hope you all have written or recall them so the laws of indices the important laws of indices are first one is a is to 0 the value is always equal to 1 for any base a the second rule of index is a is to m is to n can be rewritten simply as a is to m into n means we can multiply these two indices m into n get multiplied the third law of index is a is to m into a is to n means if the base is same indices are different and if the terms are in multiplication form then you can rewrite the term simply as a is to m plus n common base index get added if they are in multiplication form the fourth law of index is if the same terms are in division now a is to m upon a is to n here also the bases are same a a index are different m for denominator it is n so now the terms are in division so in that case we will simply rewrite it as a raised to m minus n for multiplication we have to add the indices for division we can subtract them the fifth law of index is a raised to minus m if the index sign is negative then you can simply rewrite it as 1 upon a raised to m and the last law of index the important one it is again if the term is like this a is to m equal to b is to m see now the bases are different but the indices are same so if the index is same base is different and the terms are equal then we can conclude that the bases should be same okay do remember these laws of indices in maximum chapters in maximum topics we will definitely need them now let's go towards the our topic logarithms so let's first see what is the definition of logarithm in simple form see if a small a small m they belongs to the set of reals positive reals provided a is not equal to 1 and one more term x is belongs to the set of reals now here you can consider positive negative both then in that case if the term is am is equal to a raised to x if the term is written this way if m is equal to a raised to x then x is called as this index x is called as logarithm of m to the base a and it is simply written as log of m to the base a symbolically you can write this definition simply as c m is equal to a raised to x if this type of equation is given in exponential form it is m is equal to a raised to x then you can simply rewrite it into logarithmic form as log of m to the base a how to read log of m to the base a is simply equal to x this equation this form is called as logarithmic form whereas m is equal to a raised to x this is called as index form 
see both these forms are or uh, we can say simply both these forms are vice versa means if this is true this must be true okay in both the cases we can see the base should be same see the base a of index x the base a here the base a it's a base of logarithm in both the types your base should be same so we can simply write into logarithmic form this way let's see one example in numbers see everybody knows that 2 raised to 5 the value is 32 2 raised to 5 is 32 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 5 times we have to just multiply that value is 32 this statement is known to us now how to rewrite it into logarithmic form see by the above definition what we have to simply write log of rhs or the single number log of m to the base a equal to x so for this case how we can rewrite log of single number log of 32 to the base 2 base should be same in both the types log of 32 to the base 2 is equal to 5 let's take one more example see if 3 raised to minus 2 is 1 upon 9 this is also known to us 3 raised to minus 2 the index is negative means it is 3 raised to minus 2 or 1 upon 3 square we can say is the value 1 by 9 then how to write it into logarithmic form it is log of what is that single number 1 by 9 so log of 1 upon 9 that whole rhs to the base base should be same see to the base 3 is simply equal to that index minus 2 okay so this way you can write exponential form or index form into logarithmic form or in a reverse way also log of 32 to the base 2 equal to 5 can be rewritten into index form this way both way we can write the forms next go further one more example let us see if 5 raised to 0 is 1 this is, this is that rule of index anything raised to 0 is 1 okay so 5 raised to 0 is 1 so its logarithmic form will be log 1 to the base 5 equal to 0 fine now further let's see what are the different laws of logarithms now now here again you have to consider some conditions that a b m and n suppose that these four numbers they are they belongs to the set of positive reals remember a should not be one b should not be one the base should not be one so if the conditions are true then the first rule of logarithm is that all these rules are without proof you just have to learn them and use to solve examples the first rule is log of 1 to the base a log 1 you read it simply as log 1 with any base so log 1 to base a or 2 or 5 or 0 sorry or 3 or 7 for any base here for any number the value is always equal to 0 second rule of logarithm is log a to the base a if the number and base is same in that case the value of that logarithm is simply equal to 1 next rules are log a to the base b can be rewritten into reciprocal form as it is simply equal to 1 upon log of you just have to interchange this to b to the base a b to the base a okay interchange the numbers and you can rewrite the logarithm in reciprocal form the fourth rule of logarithm is n log m again for any base is equal to say in that case you can shift that n this number n up here as an index of m just okay you can shift that n number n okay here at the index of m only or you can use the rules in a reverse way also 0 can be rewritten as log 1 1 can be rewritten as log a to the base a this term if the term is given into this form log of m raised to n then also we can shift that n down okay so all these rules are true in both sides next rule 
fifth one is log of addition log m to the base a plus log n to the base a if there is an addition of two logarithmic terms provided the base should be same for both then in that case you can rewrite it simply as log of m into n means addition you have to again multiply okay if there is an addition of two logarithmic parts logarithmic terms with same base then you can simply write it as log of mn the numbers get multiplied with the common base a so sixth rule is if the logarithmic terms are in subtraction again the base should be same if the base is same then in that case for subtraction of two logarithms we can simply write it as log of m upon n again with the same common base a addition multiply subtraction divide that way you have to use next rule is log of m to the base b now it's a multiplication into log of b to the base a now here the bases are different okay logarithmic terms are in multiplication but simply but still you can rewrite it simply as log of m to the base a this number m to the base a okay cause in both the logarithms here the base is b and the same number is copied here we can simplify it further and we can prove it but the proofs are not included in your syllabus of diploma so you just have to learn them and use next eighth rule is log m to the base a upon log b to the base a now here the division of two logarithms okay two different logs should be there not single log not this type okay division of logarithmic terms log m to the base a log b to the base a again the bases are same then you can rewrite it as log m to the base b log m to the base b okay this way you can use the rules of logarithm in both sides lhs to rhs or rhs to lhs so here we'll stop thank you if you have any queries you can post a comment or you can ask me on my number thank you